Hey everybody, Heather from Hooked on Pickin' here. I am in a little bit of a different situation today because yes, you are going to watch me bid on a pallet live. It just so happens that today when I normally do my live stream, I decided we're gonna bump it an hour later because I'm actually currently bidding on a candy pallet on direct liquidation. So I wanted to let you know kind of how we do this process. Um, this is also a live stream, so please feel free to add, ask any question during this time. We've got 22 minutes left uh, before I actually hopefully win the pallet. I'm currently outbid right now, and so we'll jump in and put in a bid probably in the next 10 minutes. I don't wanna put in a bid too soon because I don't want it to skyrocket uh, too fast on me. So um, anyway, this is a live Q&A for you guys. I will be answering questions about reselling in general. I wanna give a big thank you to all of my patrons. I got a couple new patrons that I'll be giving a, a hello email to, and so thank you so much for your support there. Also, if you love the content of this video, please feel free to donate while we're live. That would be awesome. And then ask any question at all. So if you are on live, we'd love for you to give a shout out. My hub who is holding the camera and not having to worry about the actual auction can say hello, can um, answer some of your questions and stuff, as well as me answering some of your questions. So if you're on live, please go ahead and say hello. Yes, you got some people. Uh, we've got one comment so far. It says the family flip says hello. Awesome. awesome. I like that name. So um, we're currently now at 21 minutes before I actually before this auction ends for the palette, and we're going to see if we are going to win this clearance pallet of 22,000 pieces of candy. So those of you who um, saw me do my candy pallet, I am definitely going to see if I can jump in and do another one. I do have more candy boxes available that I just recently put together. And so I know a lot of you are clamoring for more candy boxes on my hookedonpickin.com. So go there, I do have a few more made. So, but it's a first come first serve basis. They, used, they blew out fast last time. And so check those out, you get basically 12 pounds of candy for $25 and it's free shipping. So check those out um, and purchase one. You have time before this uh, this pallet ends, but uh, um, I'd love to answer any questions you have on how I go about purchasing as well. Uh, Emani915 says hi from El Paso, Texas. Hello. Uh, Helen Gonzalez says hi. Uh, Doreen Hollywood says hi. Uh, Gina of Ligon, I think that's how you say it, says good. Uh, Joyce Baker says hi from Rhode Island. Uh, Thompson Jennings says good day from Seattle. Awesome. Sarah H says hello from the UK. Uh, Tiffany uh, Pr uh, Prylas says yum. P.S. I love you guys. Awesome. Uh, Theta says hello from Geronimo. Uh, Cher Seeker says hi from Maine. Uh, Dana May says thumbs up. Uh, Sophia Roundtree or uh, yeah, I think it's Roundtree, says hello from California. Jennifer says, uh, go get it, guys. Hello from Philly. Awesome. Uh, Gina Ligon says, uh, good morning, Heather and Paul. Uh, Ordy says, howdy. Awesome. Uh, a few more now. Okay. Ha Helen Gonzalez, candy, uh, you have my attention. <laughs> That's me too, Helen. Yes. Uh, Vicky says, hello from Tennessee. Uh, Kiera says, uh, hey, from London. Uh, John says, uh, good day from the Hunter Valley, New South Wales, Australia. Nice. That sounds awesome. Christopher West says, hello all. Uh, Veronica says, hi, this is Veronica from uh, Winter Haven, Florida. Thanks for, uh, for inspiring me. Awesome. We got eight thumbs up so far, so... We'll shoot for more. Yeah, so um, if you like this video so far, because we've got some suspense going on, 18 minutes and 47 seconds left uh, before I need to win the bid, hopefully. I'm currently outbid. Um, it's, the bid currently right now is at $165.87. In order for me to jump in, I have to jump the bid by $10. So I'll have to bid $175. So, Paul, do you want to... Well, we got a few more online. Yeah, I got okay. a few more. I'll, I'll then I'll try to go over it. Tammy A says hi from Las Vegas. Ordy says he's from Western Colorado. Awesome. Uh, D Keone says hi from Florida. I love your show. Looking into patron support uh, for you. It's awesome. Nice. Ashley says hi from Southern Illinois. Uh, Christina says hello from Upstate New York. Don says hi from Scotland. Awesome. Um, boy, that sounds sounds. Awesome. I want to go to Scotland one day. Let's see. Elizabeth says, hola. We'll go visit Don. That's right. <laughs> Just knock on his door. Hey. Hey. Remember us? The YouTube guy. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, Dudette Supreme says, hi from Missouri. My Dudette posh Supreme. Yes. Hi from Missouri. My Poshmark is 
and then it gives them the, the link. Oh, Bought, check out her Poshmark. <laughs> absolutely. Bought a few things from you and love them. It's always good. Tiffany says, if you ever get, uh, if you ever get beauty products, uh, please let me know. Uh, she's a beauty junkie from Virginia. Theta says, what liquidator and what is the product uh, j that you're jumping into? Okay, so and this... And then Don Middleton, Middleton oh. says, any time that we can stop by at, at Scotland. Perfect. We'll be there tomorrow. Uh, Elizabeth <laughs> says, um, Republic of Demonica. I'm not sure if I got that right. Okay. All right. So you want me to explain a little bit, or you well, got it, Heather? Well, I'll, I'll t say this, and you can kind of talk to him about where our pricing is and why we decided on the price that we have. Deal. Okay, so this is a direct liquidation palette. It's called a clearance palette of 2,254 pieces of gourmet grocery pantry decorations and favors, customer returns, Cadbury, Hershey's, Brock's, and Starburst. Um, it says that it's from a major retailer, which means it could be a mixture of like Target, Walmart, something of that nature probably. It could even maybe even be Walgreens or something like that. So any place you would typically see these kinds of things. So um, if we want to, I'll zoom in and we can kind of look at, I don't know if it'll let me zoom in here, look at some of the pictures here. All right. Yes. So this is what we get to see for pictures. Um, so we've got Reese's, Brock's, Starburst. Um, then they give us stock photos of a bunch of stuff that's in there. Sorry, I'm, I'm a fast clicker. She's very fast. So this gives you an example of what kind of candies are in there. Who's hungry for candy yet? So, but the actual product, they only give you two photos. So this one here and this one here. And so let me uh, downsize it so that I can have my... Yes, Christopher West, many jelly beans. Many jelly beans. Tiffany says a mouth mop. Her mouth is watering. Awesome. Laugh out loud. Okay. Theta says, oh, candy won my heart. Laugh out loud. <laughs> Sarah says, Cadbury is from UK. I went to the factory where it is made. When I was little, lots of free samples. Very yummy. Uh, Cadbury is my favorite. <laughs> Thompson Jenny says, I want more candy. Uh, Ramon says, hello from Mexico. Awesome. So if you do want more candy, I do have some that I have made recently that are, are um, for sale on hotelpicking.com. So you can check those out. We've got 15 minutes left in this actual auction. So Paul, do you want to kind of explain our numbers and where we're yes. coming up with the numbers of where we feel like we want to bid? Um, we don't want to give away all of our secrets because maybe the people right. we're bidding against are on this live stream. Could I be. hope not. <laughs> uh, Jana Hook says, we need chocolate. Uh, Tiana says, good morning from Las Vegas. D. Keona says, is candy flipping profitable? And Don Middleton says, do you ship to Scotland? And if what will what will it cost? Um, well, normally the candy boxes are shipped to Scotland in a medium flat rate box. So if you want to just do the math to find out what would in the United States medium flat rate box be to get all the way there. And then if it's going to, going to, going to go to you for Scotland, I'll make sure I put tons of tape on it. Make sure it actually makes it in one piece. So yeah. medium flat rate box, just check that out. And uh, Beva just hopped on. Hi from Pensacola, Florida. Uh, Dana May, I was wondering if you could make a card with all the typical abbreviations for Amazon, eBay, etc. Uh, like Find, Vero, etc., what they stand for and what they mean. Um, it's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, I, Margaret Hall, says, hey, from Middleburg, Florida. And Ramon says, thanks for all the great tips and info. Okay, okay so, yes, candy uh, pallets are profitable. We did very well with the last one that we did mm -hmm. uh, because Americans love their candy. Matter of fact, everyone in the world loves candy. Yes. Let's just be honest. The, here's, here's the rub with this candy here. This is last Easter. Yes. So this is candy that was put on the shelves in the months of April, uh, probably February and April, right after Valentine's Day. And right now it's November of, yeah. Yeah, right now it's November of 2019. So... When you look at the expiration dates, it can get a little scary, but the expiration dates have gone to something called best buy dates. So what it's saying is the flavor of the candy is best by a certain date. And most of like the Easter candy that we noticed last palette was saying it's good up to December of 2019. Or January of 2020. Sometimes January, even sometimes February. There was some candy that was good for three years. Okay. Yeah. So... It's smart for the manufacturers like Hershey's uh, and the Jelly Bean Company. I don't know what they are. But uh, it's smart for them to say, hey, it's it's Best Buy or it expires a year from 
uh, the day that you buy it because they want to sell you that next bag of jelly beans uh, the next time. So, um, so most of the candy will expire or best buy before the next Easter. So right. they can put those new ones back on there. I just want to give an update. We're at 12 minutes, 30 seconds. Right. So we got to kind of We keep currently do not have the bid. So what we're thinking about is when we do auctions, we try to uh, do our homework and go, okay, how much money can we make? And so we believe that um, even if we just sell our candy boxes, uh, we should make for every 10 pieces of candy, which is really 10 bags of candy. Right. Um, that uh, we should make about ten dollars and i think every box usually has about ten bags and then we usually throw a lot of other kind of miscellaneous right. smaller stuff like they had these ghirardelli flat um like shape egg but it, it was a whole pack of ghirardelli it's, that fit it's, in there. it's a lot of work but we know that we can make at least fifteen hundred boxes okay so that's fifteen hundred dollars now some of the candy that's got far expiration date We'll do even better when you can ship that into Amazon, and we've been blowing out of the candy that we sent in there. So if it's like got an expiration date of let's say March or April, that we actually do ship into Amazon, and it usually sells almost immediately. Right, but first you have to win it. Yes. So we're hoping to win it for four hundred dollars. Why don't you show them okay. the shipping quote? Okay, so um, with this price, it doesn't include how much it's going to cost to ship there. So I'm just going to simply put in right here my zip code and then click go and then it does a shipping calculator um, and then we'll kind of explain what all this means it takes a little bit of time so um, just be aware of that this is normal all right so here we've got all my different options for shipping um, the reason why there are certain people that like certain freight um, ones like um, but we usually just go with the cheapest one because we're not usually in a hurry to get the pallet but if you're in some sort of a time crunch like I need to have it here by you know a certain date you might want to go with a little bit more expensive now if you look it's at hundred and fifty nine dollars and forty eight cents for XPO logistics and that's how we ordered our last one we didn't have any issues at all but the biggest thing that you do have to tell them is if you are a residential location without a dock door you have got to tell them that so when the driver calls usually about a week to a week and a half after you order your pallet to say hey I got a delivery when do you want to schedule it you need to say do you have a lift gate and I'm a residential location because there have been multiple times where they try to send me a regular tractor trailer semi. Well, my street, if you've seen it outside before, is only about one and a half car widths wide. A semi cannot get down my road. If you have a normal road, then maybe you could do a semi, but um, anyway, so I you have to add basically about $50 if you're a residential location because the lift gate costs and a residential delivery costs. So we're at around 210 for actual shipping. So taking that into consideration, go ahead, you're Paul. You're getting close now. Nine so we're minutes. under 10 minutes. So now we're going to attempt to make a few bids oh, here. Oh, someone just bid. We were at eight yep. bids. It, it was at 167. Now it's at 180. So we're right. going to actually put in 190, which is what we have to do. Um, and then we're going to bid now. Confirm. So it takes a second. So make sure you're kind of hot on the draw. All right. So we've lost the bid. We've lost the bid already. Two, go ahead ten. and go up again. Bid now. Confirm. So now we get to fight somebody. Yes. Okay. I'm the highest bidder. So we're it's eight minutes fifty seconds left. So right now we have the bid at two hundred and ten dollars. Then you need to be very careful. You've got to add your shipping. So you're going to mm -hmm. figure to another. Two hundred and ten dollars to ship it to us, so we're at a four twenty right now. Yes. Well, I feel good about six hundred dollars. Yeah, so we're um, probably with shipping. After six hundred, it's going to be like, boy, I really hope the candy sells, or I eat it and become four hundred pounds. <laughs> All right. And if you have no self control, don't buy a candy pallet. Yeah, don't buy a candy pallet because you will eat way too much candy. Well, if there's any questions on there that Paul can answer, I kind of want to yeah, keep Yeah, there an were a few on. I need to pop okay. up here. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I just lost, so 2.30. Got a bid again. Bid. I might, if I lose it again, I might jump it by $20 instead of 10 just to kind of scare away the other bidder. We're at 14 total bids right now. 
What are we at now? 2.30. 2.30. We currently have it at 2.30. And so I may jump it by, you know. So we feel comfortable going to at least four. 400 right. so i may jump it that. by 20 or 30 bucks next time just right. to maybe scare off the other bidders what's the time left on it we've got seven minutes and 40 seconds okay got a little time here mm -hmm. uh let's see tiffany says i do a lot of flea market sales for now how much would you sell the candy there i think you could get away with selling for at least a dollar a bag yep um because it's close to expiration uh, uh and close meaning it's four months away now I have been to flea markets, Tiffany, where people were selling expired candy or you know the Best Buy candy. Uh, it's past the Best Buy date, and they were still doing a dollar a bag. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, Ashley says, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Yes, please do. We're at 18 thumbs up. Yeah, and you can close the chat window and reopen it if you can't find the thumbs up on your mobile device. We're at six minutes 55 seconds. We still have the bid at 2:30. Good deal. Uh, Theta says, candy never expires. Peeps survive forever. Yes, peeps will be here long after we're all dead. Okay, we just lost the bid. Lost so the bid? It says I can put in 250. I'm going to put in 260. All right. Because I'm going to jump it by 20 bucks and see if I can scare off the other bidders. Okay, we currently have it at 260. Okay. It's moving up. Yeah, it is. Two hundred sixty. I knew it was going to. What did we buy our last one for? 330 is what we bought the last pallet at. Let's see, Helen Gonzalez says, watch out for candy with nuts. The nuts can go bad faster. Oh, yes. good to you know. You have to be careful of ingredients. Sarah says, uh, will you do a video listing the sweets this time? I really missed the last time as that is one of my favorite videos of yours. Yes. Uh, if we win this ballot, which yeah. we're hoping to do so, we will also uh, film its unboxing. Uh, let's see, any, uh, Ken ask any Halloween candy pallets? I'm sure there will be as soon as the stores get done trying to clearance them. You yeah. know how they do, Ken? So, we probably um, won't see them until after Christmas, my guess. That's my guess, too. But by the time, most stores are switching over to Christmas hard and fast. Yeah. So they, they do want to get rid of their Halloween candy. But as soon as you see it go off of the clearance, like you walk into Walmart and you can't find it anymore, Ken, then you know where it's headed. It's headed to liquidation. Mm -hmm. Tiffany says, I know this really has nothing to do with this video, but when you do kids' surprise boxes, uh, uh, do you do women's goodies boxes? Um, I generally don't just because women are pretty particular about what they like. But if you have specific things that you're interested in, you're welcome to shoot me an email. I currently don't have that as an option right now, yeah. though. It wouldn't be a bad idea. That wouldn't be bad. I mean, we do get a lot of help. I mean, media. isn't a chocolate box a woman's goodie box? Really, it saying. is. Yes. Tiffany, good to know. Ashley says, uh, why jump the bid with so much time left? Why not wait to the last couple of minutes? I'm trying to get the other bidders to just go away. <laughs> this is my palette. Go away. Yeah. <laughs> That's really the Heather's reason. Heather's ruthless. I'm ruthless. She's <laughs> the ruthless auction person. And I only jumped it 10 more than I would have initially yeah. anyway. So you know, Some people try to bid in the last 10 seconds, mm -hmm. and so they can actually steal it from you uh, yep. in those last few seconds, which is... Just not fun. You may see me weep bitterly. Yes, uh, that can I happen. It. I really don't that want to leave this palette. That can right here. Because I know how much you can make on it. Right. Uh, Dana May says, uh, good question, Ashley. Christopher West says, don't bid to the last few seconds. Uh, you're upping the price. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know. Uh, D. Keanu says, I hold out until the last two minutes before I reveal my secrets and bidding. Otherwise, you just raise the price too much. Gotcha. Uh, L. Uh, I think it's Lembert says uh, made a purchase from you today on Poshmark. Excited to see see it uh, reviewed in future sales. Awesome. We'll probably be packaging that today, yes. and then it'll be reviewed probably a little ways from now. It's also our daughter's birthday today, so we're gonna yeah we're going, we're out, going to out to eat. eat. Tiffany says I love goodie boxes. Always buying on Amazon or on um, uh, Etsy. I think that is. Mm -hmm. Jeremy Butt says uh, just started watching you guys and enjoyed seeing all the stuff you get. Thank you, Jeremy. We're at three minutes, 30 seconds. Three minutes, that we still own the bid. Yep, at, at 260. 260. Theta says, laugh aloud. I did that on eBay, but my son got something something he wanted. Okay. Kiera says, I love the listing videos. Uh, Margaret Hall, happy birthday to your daughter. Well, thank you very awesome. much for that. Yeah, she's jumping it. My youngest one is now double digits. I know. We have no child with a single digit. Yep. It's a scary moment in our lives. <laughs> uh, Tiffany says, happy birthday to your daughter. Thank you, Tiffany. Uh, Bunkles gave me a question mark. Don't we're under, this. we're at two minutes, 58 seconds. Two minutes, 58 seconds. 
Uh, Ken says, how many bags of candy are on this pallet? Uh, it says 2,254 pieces. So that averages out. If we spend $400 plus shipping, it'll be 26 cents for a bag, a bag of candy. So mm -hmm. imagine getting a bag of candy, a bag of M&Ms at Walmart for a quarter. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, Christopher West says, how is your heart rate? Uh, it's up there. Oops, it's sorry, up there. I just hit the microphone. It's up yep. there. We're going to find yeah. out. Heather has skills to win this pallet. <laughs> Let's see. I'm Pe a people love to bid right at the tail end. Yep. So yep. you may see us not get it, but at least you'll get to see how much it'll go for, you know? Well, in the process, too. Um, let's see. Never mind. I had to refresh the screen. Oh, okay. Uh, I, Margaret Hall, says, my baby girl just turned 14. She's my last baby. Oh. Okay, we're under two minutes now. Under two minutes. L. Embert uh, says you should um, paint with a dentist to bundle. <laughs> what? You should paint with a dentist to bundle with your candy sales. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You should go in with a dentist to, yeah. I should. Yes, we should. Work a deal together. Hey. One minute, 36 seconds. One hand washes the other, right? <laughs> Laugh out loud, Christopher. Mine is up there, too. Uh, my youngest turned 16 this month. Gina says, love to watch. Uh, Thomas Jen Jennings says, suggestions, uh, enter a new bid amount and hit it the last five seconds. Oh, mm. good call. Not a bad idea. All right. Beva says, love all your videos. I'm in the reseller business and I love it so much. Christopher West, we got this. <laughs> all right, friends. Okay, one minute, eight I'm seconds. Try to scoot up one minute and eight we seconds. We probably should put a, a higher dollar amount in that we're willing to put in so that I can hit the bid now if I lose it and don't you have to spend You want to try the, the 280 or something? Yeah, because we're under a minute now. 280, and then I'm going to hopefully. If you hit bid now, what does it do? I don't even remember how, what that does. I don't know. I know this is going to get kind of blurry, guys. I can't even tell. Maybe they can tell. Can you but see I it well, guys? Tell. Let's see. Where are we at here? We're at 38 seconds. 38 seconds. That'd be a pretty good score if we can win it at that. You'll have to count me down. I can't quite see it. That's really fine. Well. We're at uh, 26 seconds. 26 seconds. I'll count down when it gets down to the 10 mark. 20 seconds. Somebody going to bid. Who's feeling nervous? 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It ended. Did we win it though? Congratulations! We won. Look, at <laughs> we won. That. Look. Can you see it right Ooh, there? That was a really good price on that, that one. That is great. Yeah. Two hundred and sixty dollars. We've got another two hundred and ten dollars in shipping. So what is that? Four seventy. Yeah. So do the math on okay. how much a bag of candy is that. Okay, 470. So I got my calculator up here. So, so I got $470. 470 divided by 2254 2, pieces. 20 cents a bag. 20 cents a bag. 20 cents a bag. Who's excited for me? <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. That I didn't think I was going to get it that cheap. I know. The last one was 330. See, so I must have scared them all away with my $20 bid. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So I was really nervous. I thought for sure somebody's computer is going to work faster than mine and I, I was going to lose it. <laughs> so uh, so Christopher S., you were right. We got this. Uh, yep. Let's see. D. Keone says, uh, when you sell the candy, do you do it uh, and lots? Because I think the shipping would be expensive by the bag. How do you do it to make it attractive for the buyer? Okay, so the way that I will sell the majority of this candy is if you go to hookedonpicking.com, I've already got some candy boxes there, and I will soon be adding more in the next probably, as soon as I get this palette, I'll add more. But I sell them by... Uh, in a medium flat rate box and I just cram pack it full and so usually it ends up being about 12 pounds worth of candy and you get about 10 to 12 bags of candy in each box and so then I do $25 free shipping and so I still am able to make a profit especially getting it a little bit cheaper 20 cents a bag yeah 20 cents a profit. bag I can still make a little bit of a profit it's not huge but um you know I don't want to rip everybody off so $25 free shipping for basically 12 pounds of candy on hookedonpicking.com uh yes let's see so what do you guys all think <laughs> are you glad you got to watch this christopher west says put in your max bid at the last second 
Uh, Tiffany Prado says, yes, looks good. Good, good luck, y'all. Sarah H. says, good luck. Theta says, you bought it. Tiffany Prado says, me. <laughs> <laughs> Got a praying hands. Ash said, you should put 300 in. Uh, Mia says, good luck, guys. John says, lost income. Lost income, not sure. Thomas Grassel says, yes. Sarah H. says, well done. Christopher O.S. says, woohoo. <laughs> Tiffany Prado says, woohoo. <laughs> Ashley says, yes. I, Margaret says, woohoo. Uh, um, WTG, y'all. Uh, way to go. That's it. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> we were a little bit behind. Yeah, I'm sorry. sorry. Gina says, way to go. Tiffany says, way to go. Whoop, whoop. Uh, Dana says, oh my, I can breathe now. Uh, <laughs> I know. I was really nervous. Gina Prince says, congratulations. Ash says, I was worried someone else would put 280 before you. Dawn says, I bid like uh, for my reborn dolls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ashley says, candy. Uh, Mia says, woohoo. Uh, Beva says, WTG, way to go. L. Embert says, congrats. Ordy says, whoopee. <laughs> uh, they, they gave candy, candy, and then champagne glasses, I think. Uh, e. Manny says, congratulations. John Burton says, lost income. Ordy says, yes. <laughs> Why does they, he... I don't know. Theta <laughs> says, yes, it was exciting. Tiffany Pryor says, so exciting. Sarah H. says, will you be sending some to Amazon? And if you do, will you video you listing it? I have just finished watching your last uh, listing video and want the next one already. Yes, we will definitely video listing it. Uh, the biggest thing with sending these things to Amazon is you have to be about four to five months out from the uh, best buy or expiration date. And so I would say what, maybe a hundred pieces I, is what's going to end up going to Amazon. Oh, probably more. Maybe I think, think we sent about 300 pieces then last time. Okay. So yeah, so that's going to be about our average and then everything else is going to be put in candy boxes. That'll be kind of like it expires in a month or so. Um, right. And so that's kind of where we're going to be at with it. Um, anything that's like rock hard, like some of the jelly bean bags we got last time were like literally blocks of cement. And so we didn't resell those. Helen says, good job. I, Margaret, had a good time. Mimi says, congrats. Christopher West says, we are the champions. We are the champions. That's right. Yes. We don't own the rest of that song. D. Keone says, how long of you, uh-oh, uh hold on. There it is. How long of you had your own website and you get a lot, and do you get a lot of traffic and a lot of sales? I'm sure your YouTube helps uh that's exciting you're really motivating me yes the um my youtube my youtube channel is really the only reason i think that i get traffic on hooked on picking unless they're looking specifically for an item right yep uh helen gonzalez says good job uh trisha says i missed it we'll rewatch john burns says pray pray for me we'll do john Thomas Jennings says, what happens to items at Amazon after the expire date? Oh, John was saying he lost his income, and so pray for him. I oh, think. yeah. Okay. Right. So pray we'll for definitely John. Pray for he John. definitely. You guys should too. If yes. You lose your income. What was that last question? I'm sorry. Uh, what happens uh, to items at Amazon after the ex expiration date? They get shipped back to me. At least that's how I have my account set up. You can actually ask them to dispose of them or destroy them um, if you don't want them shipped all the way back. But it's 50 cents to ship back to you, 15 cents if you just want them to dispose of the item and you don't want it back. But that's the same thing with anything that gets a, like a customer return, always gets sent back to you as well. Very good. Uh, Sarah says, yeah, yay, that's good to know. We'll be waiting for my notification for that and for the next video. Uh, Don says, I'd love to get things like that, but we don't oh, uh, uh, know where to buy things like that in Scotland. I, I would just say uh, start searching, Don, for mm -hmm. liquidation in, uh, in the Scotland um, area. Yeah. And you're going to find somebody. You'll find somebody. There's stores in Scotland. They've got to do something with their liquidation. Mm -hmm. uh, I, Margaret, says prayers, John. Uh, Theta says praying for John. Trisha says, I love watching your videos. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So we're really, really excited that we won this candy palette. It's going to be a lot of work, but we definitely already know that it's going to be profit. If you're interested in a candy box, go to hookedonpicking.com right now. They've got, I've got some that are on there that I just recently made. It was just candy I hadn't gotten together yet um, because of busyness. And so check that out. It's kind of a first come first serve. If you don't find a candy box, check back in after you see this video get unboxed because it'll probably already be live by the time uh, this video gets unboxed once we receive it. So um, I'm really excited about winning this candy palette, especially 
for such an inexpensive price. This is way less. 330 is what we paid for the last one. This one was 260, so we definitely have a bigger profit margin there. So I'm really excited. Remember, this was on direct liquidation. You might want to check out something like this in the future. Thank you so much for jumping on live. Um, thank you for all of my patrons. If you'd like to uh, give a thumbs up, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another unboxing that I already have um, put together and edited. So um, it's already out there. So check that out. Noon tomorrow, my unboxing. And if you don't get notifications, click that bell for notifications and um, you'll be notified anytime I have a video go out, which is usually every day at noon Central Standard Time. Thanks guys so much for jumping on and having a heart attack with me as I won this candy palette. And remember in the end, Jesus wins.